Hello, in this video let's discuss the third question from today's Code Contest. You are given an array of positive integers and positive integer k. You are allowed to perform operation once where in each operation you can remove any prefix and suffix from array such that that remains non-empty. Return an array uh, result of size k where result of x is an x value of nums. The x value is the number of ways to perform the above operation so that product of the remaining elements leaves a remainder of x when divided by k. And the size is up to 1 if i and the value of k up to 5 and the values are up to 1 in it. And for example, if there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if we find the number of ways so that we get the modulo product of 0 is 9 and 1 is 2 and 2 is 4. So we have to return the final array of size k. So we have to remove some prefix and some non overlapping suffix. So finally, what we are able to get? So simply we are considering about all subarrays because let's say this is the given array. And to get one and two, to get a middle subarray, we can remove this and this, this prefix and this suffix. And to get only v of one, we can remove this. So in this way, if we try to remove any prefix and suffix, we will get all n into n plus one by two subarrays. So we have to count the number of subarrays which give the product modulo k for all k up to zero to five. So, and other simple observation is let's say we are at index j and the value is v of j, and in the previous we have some product modulo x and if we are considering the present element with the previous answer what will be the new value of mod modulo it will be simply x into v of j mod k because for example if the subarray before is 1 2 and k is 3 so the modulo is 2 and the present element is 4 the new product will be 8 and it will be 8 mod 3 which will be 2 and 4 mod 3 is also 2 4 mod 3 is also 2 so it will be simply 4 mod 3 is 1 so it will be simply 2 into 1 which is 2 so x into v of j mod k is the new modulus when we are considering v of j with respect to a past value x and let's say we are at index i and we want to find the answer for this index so we are at index i we want the current array answer of size k with considering this answer so this the, this array should include the values of remainder k when we are considering this as last element. So, for example, only the value, the subarray with value i and the subarray ending with i, two length subarray and three length subarray and so on. So, we want to answer for all this in the current. So, how can we get this? To get this, if we have some past information regarding the past index, then we can do this because we have seen that if we have some past index with product model of x, and we are present in x, we can simply find the answer for this because it will be simply x into v of j mod k and we can increment this here because with respect to this and if we consider this, this will be the new modular product and we can increment because we found a new subarray with that model. So for this to get the answer, we want the contribution for previous values. So let's assume that it will be simply db and even that will be of same size and db of j indicates that it will be answer for previous index if you are at index i db will be the answer for i minus i so that we can simply get this array from this so that we are considering i as the last element and for example let's say this is 3 so db of 4 is 3 it means that we are having 3 subarrays ending at i minus 1 such that the product modulo is 4 so we have this and how can we get this so the size is up to 10 so we can simply traverse all this and for a product of p the when we are considering v of i the new product will be p into v of i mod k so we can simply look from p is equal to 1 to 10 and we can increment the value p into v of j mod k in the current so this will be the new subarray this will be the new answer for which current of i represents the number of subarrays ending at i with product modulo p so from the previous value we are able to get the present one so it will be simply the simply 0 to k because we have only till k and current of i into t i into i to mod k i t is the v of j and i is the previous product so for for example here and i t is this so to get the new value considering the p value with the v of j will be p into v of j mod k mod k so it will be this value and we got dp of j number of ways to get that product so similarly by using those all dp of j we can get new value 
so it will be simply current of that value plus is equal to dp of i because we are getting this many number of ways with the present modulo i with the printed modulo this so in this way we can simply increment current of the new modulo plus is equal to the number of previous subarrays that have this mod, mod i in the previous index so this is okay but how to get the final answer because we are getting answer for every index so in this way we are able to get current subarray for every index but we want the number of total subarrays such that the modulo is zero for all and, and so on so how can we get this let's say this is the big array and it uh, at some index we got current one which is the answer for subarrays ending till this and we got answer for this current of two where we are considering this as the last limit so are there any uh, dependence on these both dependence is uh, do we have any common subset no because the first one considers only the element till the first element and the second one will include only the last event for sure so obviously there are no common subarrays so these two are independent and we can get answer for zero by some of these both because this is the answer for till this and this is the answer for till this so to get the answer for whole we can traverse every single value k and we can add current value of every index because those both are independent so it is simply instead of storing all the values it will be simply i is equal to 0 to k 0 to k and result of result is the final answer that you have to return and result of i plus is equal to current of i so current of i is simply for example we are at this index we are traveling we are traversing the loop and we are at this index so by some before db we found the current answer and we saw that it will be directly contributing to answer because it will have no dependence with any, with any other subarray with that value so it will be simply result of i plus is equal to this value and this will be and finally we came to this and let's say we've computed other value other value current and simply result of i plus will be equal to this value and similarly and so on for every index because we saw that they are independent and are there anything we are missing out so we got the dp for before and we got the current one for this so for the next index what will be dp it will be simply current because this is the fine this is the previous subarray where it, it is storing answers for subarray sending a type so for i plus one index it will be our dp because we assumed that dp is the previous subarray that the previous answer that have all answers included till i minus one so for i plus one it should store all the values till i so current is fulfilling our condition so it will be new db so simply after traversing the loop we can simply update db is called current it means that it is becoming the db for next loop so db of k and result of k for auto it we are traversing the loop and current of k is equal to zero because before traversing the loop we simply have zero subarrays with every modulo and so let's say before we have some values before and we are not considering any of the values before and we are only considering vj so the new product will be vj mod k because this is the new subarray of length one that we are considering and we are not taking any previous length subarray before so current of this modulo plus plus and we are traversing the loop and current of new modulo plus will be equal to db of i because these are the number of subarrays ending at i with that modulo with mod modulo i and with the modulo i before and the present value it the modulo will be i into it of k so it will be current of that is equal to db of i and finally we are traversing the all k arrays and answer of i plus is equal to current of i because we have seen that current of current one of zero current two of zero all are independent because current one of zero assumes that zero is the last index and one will assume that one is the last index so obviously there will be no common subarray so we can add all it will be simply adding and Finally, we are updating this because for the next index, the current will be dp. And finally, we are updating and finally return the result. So, this is a simple code. In this way, by using dp, we can simply find the answer. If you have any doubts, comment below. See you in the next video.